So welcome then to the Palma de Mallorca for the Copa del Rey, the third event of the Barclays 52 Super Series. Palma is one of the favourite venues for the uh, sailors of the circuit. It's a reliable sea breeze. We have seven boats racing and it's a long six-day regatta. It's hot, it's hard, but everyone wants to win the Copa del Rey. You know, Palma Bay is really a great place to sail, especially in the summer. and. And uh, we're happy to be here this time of year. It's a great, uh, great venue for these uh, these boats and this regatta. The atmosphere is great, and still, I think it's the one of the world's one nicest regattas. Uh, it's a heavy regatta because it's six days. It's a very warm, uh, hot sun, and we have to go bed uh, early in the night to be good in the morning. So we have seven boats racing here at the Copa del Rey in Palma. The programme is an 11 race programme with one coastal race in the middle of the week. And the overall standings for the Barclays 52 Super Series, well, Quantum Racing have a small lead ahead of Ran Racing and Azura. Phoenix were the surprise package in uh, Porto Cervo, finishing second. Unfortunately, the uh, owner, Eduardo de Souza Ramos, is not here, but we can be sure that he'll be watching proceedings from his home in Brazil. Yes, it's sad not to have Eduardo. He has been doing a great job and uh, obviously it's his project and we all want uh, for him to be here. Uh, luckily enough, he's safe and uh, in good shape, so we'll have him in Ibiza and we will get back in track with him. So race number one for the Copa del Rey got away in perfect sea breeze conditions, 12 to 13 knots of wind. Quantum Racing won the start, got out to the left side with good pace, preferred side of the course on this racetrack, led around the top mark all the way down to the leeward gate when they split away from Ran Racing. Ran Racing then took the lead on the second beat and led all the way through to win the first race with Quantum Racing second and Azura third. For the first race, we had an opportunity about three minutes into the leg to take a step up to Ran and pound them, and we didn't. We were fighting for the pin with Quantum, realized we couldn't get it, and uh, realized early enough to get up and uh, set up to win of them, and happy to basically lead them round, you know, go round on their transom with Azura right behind us, and so had a very good run, managed to get just, just deep, keep Azura behind us and get deep on Quantum to take the right mark at the, the right gate mark. Race number two, wind was slightly lighter, but this time again it was all down to the start. Gladiator were slightly better off the line than Quantum. Quantum were quicker and led all the way around the course. Gladiator took a good second place, but disappointment and then for Ran Racing. Ran really uh, did not manage to get into the race and ended up with a seventh place after their first in the first race. But uh, great conditions, fantastic racing and very close all the way around. We bounced back. We had a good second race, and uh, you know it's a long regatta, so nine races to go from here. All in all, a good day, good start. Wouldn't trade it, and there's some things that we can prove on. It's how much you put yourself in to get that winning start that wins the race, versus in there getting it slightly wrong and suddenly you're uh, sixth or seventh off the line. So the top three after two races at the Copa del Rey. First is uh, Quantum Racing on three points, second Ran Racing on eight points, and in third Azura also on eight points. First day of the Copa del Rey very much following expectations in terms of the weather. More of the same expected through the week, sea breeze conditions and fabulous Palma living up to its reputation. Join us again tomorrow.